Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play walkthrough, my very first journey through Gen... I was gonna say Gen 2 Johto, I'm so used to my silver intro still. <laughs> Through these brand new Pokemon games, I did receive this product free from Nintendo, and if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like and answer the comment question. You're probably wondering, <laughs> why am I looking at the bottom of Mike's keyboard and his desk? That's because we're doing an island scan. Um, I know the island scan Pokemon are different in this game, and I wanted to try it here on Melee Melee, see if we find a Pokemon that... Uh, is something I want <laughs> on my team. And uh, also, it's Thursday, I think. Thursday is today. Yeah, so that's, you know, this will be the Thursday Island Scan Pokemon. And while we're here, I'm also going to check out the areas that I couldn't look at before because I didn't have Lapras and Fishing Rod. So let's do Island Scan. All right. Let's do it. The entire Melee Melee Island is being scanned. What is that? Is that Scatterbug? What? Island Scan Pokemon is just a Scatterbug. I went through all this work and it's Scatterbug. It's Scatterbug. Well, this has been an incredible letdown. Well, on the bright side, on my surfing trip back here, I got incre. I did. I did incredible. I got twenty-eight thousand points. Got nine uh, beach points for it. Um, and unlocked a new move, the Primarina Twist. So that was awesome. Uh, okay, let's... I guess we're gonna catch the freaking scanner bike, because, I mean, might as well. Wonder if Island Scan Pokemon are gonna get Pokedex entries this time. I don't know. And there it is. Bit of a letdown, I was hoping for a Grovile, not gonna lie. But I'll probably do Island Scan periodically uh, throughout this Let's Play. Just for, for fun. See what shows up. If this is not catch, I'm gonna be stunned. Alright, there we go. Ooh, I kinda wanna put it in my party just to see what, vi what uh, pattern Vivian it turns into. Probably the same one that my ex is. Uh, nah. Let's add to our party, and we'll put uh, we'll put Goliath in the box. We're we're never gonna use it. This move set is terrible. <laughs> Just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's better. Yeah, I might do this periodically. See, I wanted to do it on the melee 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 island instead of Akala because I have access to everywhere on melee melee. I don't have access to everywhere on Akala, so I was really afraid. I'd island scan a Pokemon and then not be able to get to it. So, but I do want to try this periodically. See what we find and so on. Oh wait, I just remembered the beach. We can surf off of the beach right there on the beachfront. So let's see what we find. We're gonna get off of Tauros. Tauros is hard to steer. Right. Is there anything over here? Oh, I gotta be careful about doing that because if there's bubbling spots, then they'll stop bubbling. I don't see anything, but we're getting a wild encounter, so that's something. It's probably a Magikarp or a Finian or a Tentacool. The perpetual <laughs> surf annoyance Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, all right. Let's go east. It's probably blocked by rocks, but maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe, let's see. Oh, fishing! 
Oh, come on. Give me something. What is going on with these bubbles? Should be guaranteed. I have definitive proof that there's a Pokemon there. <laughs> or at least an item. That was fast. <laughs> like, not, I mean, it took me several tries, so that wasn't fast, but like, after dropping the line. A Remoraid. Eh, I don't really want to use a Octillery. Sorry. I'm all about that dual type life. Still leaning towards Chin Chow, but I'm not there in the story yet, so. Guess we'll battle this chick. The swaying makes my heart sway too. Oh yeah, let me introduce my Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Portia. Very decorated swimsuit. Wearing lots of jewelry while swimming. Which I don't fully understand. Huh. I don't wanna brick break your brick break your heart. I don't wanna brick break your brick break your heart. But I just did it because the swag guy have got. I've gotta win the battle and break your heart. That was pretty good, right? I just made that up on the spot. I feel I, I feel like I should get some, a little bit of props for that, because that was pretty cool. Alright, Love Disc goes down. Nacho! Rock's into 24. Bite! Oh, that's awesome. Definitely use that. Definitely need that. We're getting rid of Lick. Lick is... Sucks. <laughs> 30 power is so bad. <laughs> Scatterbug's, I think, gonna evolve. So we're gonna get to see a, uh... Okay, yeah, or I just realized, I, I don't think it gave me a Pokedex entry. Island Skin's Pokemon still are not in the Pokedex. I mean, could you imagine if people, like, how many people do you think realized you could do Island Scan immediately in this game? Like, that would've changed a lot of people's teams. Like, if you think about it, they could use Johto starters, like, right away. Protect? Sure. Um... That car was so loud. Ugh, I'm sorry if you heard that. Alright, well, we're, we're teaching our little, uh, Spupa here, Protect. Lots of layout changes in this episode. Oh, this is, uh, that cave, right? No? It's not the cave. Alright, then. I got a Lapras. Oh, I should get that, uh, sticker at, uh, Elima's house. Corsola! Well, let's see if we can get a Marini to show up. Let's do it. I do have an adrenaline orb. Okay, yeah, there's the road tube. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't do an annoyingly large amount of damage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's use a... Uh, use Aerial Ace. It's resisted. I don't think it's going to KO. If it does, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, plenty. Yeah. We're good, at, we're good even if we... I didn't teach anyone False Swipe. Should have done that. Oh well. This shouldn't KO even if it crits. Okay, we're good. Nothing showed up. What the heck? Why? Why are you doing this? Who resists water? I guess I'll just keep Nacho in. Oh, but that was my only Adrenaline Orb. Oh, so I can't just, like, spam it. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts. There's a solid chance I'm just gonna, like, give up on this. <laughs> I 
We don't want to paralyze it, because it'll just refresh itself, but also that makes it call less often. How much does this do to Magnemite? I sh I'm gonna buy some Adrenaline Orbs. You never know when you're gonna want to SOS something. <gasps> right away! <laughs> I can't believe the first one that shows up! Okay, let's KO the course of life. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Corsola goes down. Alright, Speedburger level 12. Let's use a dive ball right away. I love that that was the first thing it called in. <laughs> I think I am going to try and use this for a, 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 like, I think I'm going to use it. Like, I wanted to use one in the other game, in, in Sun, but I, like, never figured out how to find it until way too late. Because I, you know, was playing it before it released, and, you know, it was, like, lots of things I just didn't know. And couldn't look up yet. And now we get to see what Vivian looks like. Cool. And we can immediately replace it. Lots of layout changes in this episode. <laughs> I think I know what it's gonna be. Okay, it's the same one. Yeah, okay, it's region based. So that's the same pattern I saw back in X and Y. Gust, sure. Why not? Get rid of Rage Powder. Rage Powder's not good unless you're uh, an Amoongus in VGC. <laughs> it's like the only time it's useful. Light screen? Okay, no. Okay, we need to move on. I need to send you back to the box. <laughs> Rini's daddy, or we add it to the Pokedex. So cute. All right, they eat Corsola branches, so Rini are hated by craftsmen who work with Corsola branches that have naturally fallen off. Ah. Yes? What are we gonna name you? Are you a boy or a girl? You are a boy, so we're gonna name you... We're gonna name you. I should have thought about this. I honestly wasn't expecting this to work out so well. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be like, all right, that was three that can't call dead. I'm getting impatient. This is boring you. Let's do something else. What are we gonna name you? Um, ooh, I know what I wanna name you. We're gonna name you Tex, okay? Let me explain, all right? A while ago on stream, A Drive and I were talking about, you know, draft league teams, how we prefer ones that are puns of real teams. So. Him having the St. Louis Rampardos being a pun of the St. Louis Rams, the Minnesota Vikings being a pun of the Minnesota Vikings, my old team when I used to do it, Houston Gastros, pun of the Houston Astros. And I was talking about how when I was coming up with Houston Gastros, I was like, what are the Houston team ones? Okay, Houston Gastros, that's a really good one. Uh, Houston Regi Rockets or Soul Rockets, eh. And there's not really any good ones with the Texans. And I wonder if there's anyone with the... Gen 7 Pokemon that would work. And he was like, what about the Houston Toxapexans? And I'm like, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> That's great. So I'm going to name him Tex as an, uh, as an homage to that. The Houston T Toxapexans. He, he actually suggested Texapexans, and I was like, I think that makes it a bit too complicated. Let's just stick with Toxapexans. Because you got the T and you got the X already. You don't need to add another X. Alright, let's look at you, buddy. My new friend. Where are you? There you are. Special attack, defense boosting nature. That works, right? Like, that's fine. Limber? Not the best ability. Uh, Merciless would be better. But... I still, go, I still think it'll be fun to use him. Put him in front. Get him some experience. Are there any TMs I can teach him? Infestation? Uh. No, there are not. <laughs> That's okay. 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, there might be a move tutor move I can teach him. Because I have a lot more beach points now. Hello. Okay, I think there's like... Okay, I can reach it from this side and I can reach it from the other side, but there's like a section that doesn't let me get into that cave until I have Sharpedo. Hello, Jade. How are you? A Clam Pearl. I'll give you a Clam Pearl. Go, Tex! What's my strongest move? Bite is definitely my strongest move. Oh god. It's attacking prowess is a poor. <laughs> I mean, that's to be expected. It's a Toxapex. It's like a. And I can't switch out because of Whirlpool. Oh, that's annoying. Hopefully, I get some better moves quickly. Water gun. Okay, that'll do nothing. What level does it evolve? I hope it's not very high. Okay, water gun. Eh. Probably should heal now. Just because... I won't KO it, and I there's no way I could survive another... Um, Where's my... There it is. Super push. There's no way I can survive another water gun and whirlpool. If we can, if whirlpool ends, I am going to switch out. Okay, it's still going. Bite. Oh, it flinched. Oh, freed from Whirlpool. Nice. Let's go, Nacho. I probably will do less, yeah. We'll break, break, and finish you. All right, we beat the Clam Pearl, no problem. I think from now on, I'm probably gonna switch Marini out right away unless it's like against a Psychic type because, you know. <laughs> In a cold sweat from losing. Ooh, <laughs> seductive. <laughs> that was the chick I just battled. Oh, it lets me go right through. I don't know why I'm fetching. I already caught the best Pokemon that's available here. Oh, I need to sell my stuff. Should I go back the other way? Nah, I should just keep going this way. Yep, yeah, wishy-washy. Not gonna mess with that. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can get back up to the Pokemon Center and then come back. Oh, can we dodge this lady? Did it. Yes! We made it! Alright! Man, I'm, I can't believe it showed up first call. Like, what is it? Did they increase its... The Marini chance, or did I just get really lucky? Because, I, I mean, it's not a stupid low percentage, but it's not a high per... It's definitely not more than half the time that Marini shows up. I feel like it gets, like, 25% in Sun and Moon, so I'm wondering what it is in this game. Hmm. All right, let's go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and sell my massive amount of pearls that I've gotten. <laughs> Everybody getting back to full health? Yeah, 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 yeah! Toracad's sprite is so much larger than everyone else's. Alright. Hello! I'd like you to purchase my... Oh, can I buy Super Repels now? No. Doesn't look like I can buy Adrenaline Orbs yet either, which is odd. Um... Glad I did that one. Alright, we'll sell the tiny mushroom. 
Need to sell the big pearl. Three of them. That's quite a bit. Pearl stream. 15,000. Whoa! I can't complain about not getting anything fishing, so it's great. Lots of money. Alright, let's go battle a couple more trainers down by the bay! What? Oh. I'm dumb. It's over here. <laughs> and then... Head over to Kala'i Bay. This is actually Melee Melee Sea, it's not the bay. There's probably some items here. I know the Rock Slide here, TM is here, but it's only after you've, uh... It's only after you get Sharpedo, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, assuming it's the same as Sun and Moon, because I did change some TMs up. Like, the one in, uh, 10 Carat Hill was Acrobatics, and they changed it to SmackDown. Alright, let's switch Marini out right away, so it doesn't get trapped in there, and I will waste more time. Just, you know... It's better if I switch out, actually, because it still gets full experience points. Unless it's just a wishy-washy. Okay, it's just a wishy-washy, so let's just see how much Bite does. Okay, a three-hit KO, that's fine. How much does this do? Haha, -ha, that's fine. Alright. Two more bites. Alright, we'll finish this wishy-washy off, no problem. Oh, it flinched! Nice! We'll use Peck this time. I've not examined Marini's level up moveset, and I hope it improves, not gonna lie. But move tutors help a lot! Move tutors help a lot! So I can check that out, and I can like move tutor pretty much anything. You know, I just have to do the Mantine Surf a couple times if I don't have enough, you know? It's like, the move tutors only cost like four or eight. The two times I've done Mantine Surf, one on camera, one off camera right before this episode, I got four the one I did on camera and nine the one I did off camera. Just a fishing spot. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's very much here. You don't even need repel. Okay, never mind. All right, R literally rides a said, Man, you don't even need repels. Oh, Mantike. Oh, cute. I'm not gonna use it, but like, I think it's cool. You can find that now. I'll, I'll toss a netball at it. Who knows how hard these things are gonna be to find later. Does this mean I can surf without having to leave from the beach? <laughs> ah, so close. Okay, let's just run. I don't want to deal with this. My patience is small. <laughs> I'm a little bit sad that this Marini's ability is not merciless, but like, I really did not have time to, uh... It's like, if I'm gonna SOS hunt for, like, on stream, that's one thing, but like, in this episode, you know, you kinda wanna, you kinda wanna progress, you know? Like, you guys are actively watching, I don't wanna just, uh... Oh, another Marini. Okay, we're definitely switching. This will be a massively, annoyingly long battle if I, if I do not switch. Go Nacho! All right, we're probably not gonna switch back in. Oh, I could bring, next Pokemon I'll bring Marini back in, absorb the spikes, so then I can switch him back out. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, so close. One more wing attack. This episode might go a little bit longer. I do just want to finish all the extra Melee Melee stuff with the surfing, and then return to Akala. Double team? I guess that's better than quick attack. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna, nah. I have morals. I don't have morals, what am I saying? The theme battles with John. <laughs> those always go, uh, minimize. Two evasion raising moves in a row, my goodness. Remoraid, yes. Let's switch Marini back in. Absorb the spikes. So, Mar that's... Limber's actually 
you know, it's not as good as Merciless in my opinion, but I think it's a solid, you know, it's still a good ability because what that means is that Marini um, can only, the only status conditions it can be affected by that are like, you know, the ones that remain after battle, not like confusion or infatuation. It can only be put to sleep, uh, burned. I think that's it. It can only be put to sleep and burned. Why does this Remoraine know Psybeam? That's weird. Nice. I need Marine to learn a water type move so I can use Waterium Z. Hopefully it learns a physical one. I feel like it, it, I know it learns liquidation at some point. I just don't know, like, I feel like that might be a really high level. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Pretty sure there's gonna be rocks here. No. What? Okay, well, they got rid of the rocks. But it's not a TM anymore. That's a pearl string, okay. More money, more problems. Alright, well. Guess I'll have to figure out where the rock slide TM is, because I have no idea. <laughs> Black Belt Francis. He's got a Halucha too! Let's see if we can beat this thing with a. With Tex. Let's see how much damage this does. Entirely too much, oh my god. Oh my god. Crap, Nacho does not switch in on that well. Here's what we'll do, we'll switch into Pikachu. I'll use Pikachu for this, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of this Halusha. <laughs> Yikes, Halusha's very good. <laughs> But we defeated it by cheating. Alright, text grew a level, nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go check out the bay. Are you kidding me? So stupid. Let's use that super repel that I just found. So I don't have to worry about Pokemon. Here in the water or in the grass, trying to get back up to the Pokemon Center. I'm not gonna fish there. I know it's there. <laughs> That's a trainer that probably has low level Pokemon because I missed her before, so we're gonna avoid her. Let's heal up Marini and head off to Kala'i Bay. Ah, if only super repels were more available. Because I'm definitely going to want to use them. <laughs> well, thankfully, most of the path, most of the path there is no wild Pokemon. It's like getting through the meadow and the cave. Yeah, that was like the only bit. Alright, let's go ahead and start using our repels. There's gonna be quite a lot of wild Pokemon that we're gonna have to... that I already know what they are, so I don't care. <laughs> Okay. It's a shame they didn't get rid of this rid rid ridiculously silly ride Pokemon music. Kills the mood anywhere. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because I was going to see what Pokemon are here. Oh well. Well, it gives me some time to poke around. Oh, 
Fishing, I know, brings mainly... It's like Shelter and Finneon, I think. What is this? This is that new landmass that was not here before. There's got to be an item on here somewhere. The camera just makes it not easy to see. I don't like this camera right here. No. Aha! Roar? That's a letdown. Okay. Let's go over to this landmass here. We'll fish once. We'll, we'll see what the bubbles pull up. I should have sold that pearl string. Oops. Yep, shelter. That's the same. Oh. Got away safely. All is well. There's the grass. I know there's something deep back here. Prism scale. Oh my god, you can get a Milotic this early in the game? Because I know there's Feebas in Brooklyn Hill. Holy crap. Well, that was nice of them. If you catch a Feebas in Brooklyn Hill, you can get a Feebas or a Milotic so early. Wow, that's amazing. I'm not going to use one. I'm going to stick with my dual types here, but holy crap. Get on my load at like level 19. I couldn't get away from the Winkle. Well, once we get away from this, I'm switching Marini out because I'm not here to train. I'm here to just see what's here. There we go. All right. I need Halucha in front. Halucha can run from anything. Halucha is so fast. Where are you? There you are. So far, only Wingo, so that's disappointing. I know there's Bagon here. Just not a great encounter rate. I feel like there should be... They would have added at least one Pokemon here, though. There's the Bagon. Okay. I don't want to use a Bagon. I've already got a Flying type on the team. And it doesn't become a Flying type. I mean, it's like... I, I wouldn't be able to fully evolve it till 50, which is a pain. I think I might consider a pseudo legendary. I feel like if I found a Gibble, so I could get a Garchomp, I feel like that's something I would use because I don't currently have Dragon or Ground. But most pseudo legendaries are, I think every pseudo legendary except for Gibble. Well, I guess Metagross. Metagross is a Pokemon I would use. Yeah, because Steel Psychic, yeah. But, you know, Dragonite, I already have Flying. Tyranitar, I already have Dark. I will. Um, Salamence, I already have Flying. Metagross would work. Um, Garchomp would work. Hydreigon would not because of Dark. Gudra's single type, and I prefer to use dual types. And what's the last one? Um, Kamo O. I already have Fighting type with Halucha. All right, well, uh, let's do three more encounters and call it an episode. I'll return to Akala Island um, off camera. Because... Not right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Mantine Surf again. Build up some more BP. <laughs> Maybe check. I know that the Move Tutor over on Akala has Water Pulse. It's just my Marini is going to be a physical attacker because it has a special attack lowering nature. All three of my main squad members are physical attackers so far. So let's hope we don't find anything with high defense. I also want to look up Marini's moveset just for curiosities. Alright, one more encounter and then we'll call it an episode.
Okay, just a wingo. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of fun stuff happened in this one. Got ourselves a Marini that I'm planning to use on the squad, for the time being at least. I doubt there's anything I'm gonna find that's gonna trumpet, unless I find like a shiny water or poison type. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, answer the comment question down below, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all!